Here we have two lists in Cognos Analytics. Uh, this list on the left side is just used as a reference. We will use the values in this list to check our aggregations. And uh, this list on the left side is presenting us with all of the data that we have. We don't have any more rows than this. But here on the right side, we have the same uh, list, but two columns are excluded. So the values in this list are aggregated. And also we grouped uh, this first column by using uh, this uh, button here in order to get subtotals. I will now select this value column and then I will go to summarize button and then to total button and we will get our totals. We can do the same with quantity column. I will select this quantity column. I will go to summarize button and then to total and we will get totals again. Now notice that the name of this row is total. So only uh, sums will be presented in this uh, row. If I do go now to undo and then I select again quantity column, I go to summarize button and then choose count. In that case, uh, we will get another row. So there is a separate row for count and separate row for total. And if we now add uh, total to quantity column, to quantity column, uh, we would have both total and count for quantity column. And sometimes we need this because we want uh, both uh, aggregations for one column. But what if we want to have in this uh, cell, for example, total and in this cell uh, count? In that case, we have to use default summary. I will now select all of these uh, totals. I will delete them by using a delete key on my keyboard. And then I will again select this value column. I will go to summarize button and this time I will choose default summary. This time we have new rows but they are named summary. So if we go now to quantity column and again we go here to summarize and then default summary, we would get our aggregations. But uh, Cognos decided to use default aggregation and that is sum. So it used sum here and it used sum here. But in quantity column we don't want sum, we want count, how to achieve that. Well, for that, we go here to in properties and here we have summary. Summary is aggregated and aggregate mean just means that Cognos will decide what uh, aggregation will be used, but we will change this. Instead of aggregate, we will use count. And now we have count in, for quantity column and uh, we can also add uh, that total uh, row if we want to. So we can also use total beside a uh, summary. Although this is kind of confusing and we should avoid this. I will now delete all of these uh, totals. I will select them and I will click on delete on my keyboard. Until now we have been working with numeric column. But is it possible to aggregate textual column? I will select this customer name column. I will go to summarize and I will choose menu. In this case, we would get a name that starts with the letter that is closest to the start of alphabet. And the opposite of that uh, would be to use maximum. In that case, uh, we would get uh, some name that starts with letter Z or letter T in this uh, specific case. If we use the full summary, we would actually get a minimum aggregation. And we also have here count distinct and count. We have 18 rows. Now everything is the same for date columns. We have all of the same options. Now uh, we saw that we can change this aggregation in grand total. Instead of using count, we can go here to summary and we can uh, select some other aggregation. Now we should recall that this uh, list on the right side is also aggregated. For example, this uh, value 10 here is sum of these two values. And the question is, can we change this aggregation? So aggregation in detail uh, rows, where it is possible uh, to do that. Uh, we will select this value column. And again, we will go to properties pane and we will change this detail aggregation from total. We will change it to, for example, average. And now we have this value five and this uh, value five is average of these two values. Uh, we will now add subtotals to this uh, list on the right side. I will go to summarize uh, uh, and then I will select the full summary. 
and we can see that this uh, time corners uh, decided to respect our decision and he also calculated average value but is it possible to have two different aggregations in, in the same column well here we have average but here we have also average although we can change this average for example for from aggregate we can change it to count and now we have two different aggregations in the same column 